Hi everyone, today I'm just basically going to be showing you the disadvantage of an iPod Touch. So, when we get into, when we do the home screen, it always says like your notifications and such. And like, the first thing I noticed was the battery percentage up there. It doesn't tell you like what's the percentage is. All it tells you is the battery. And then on my phone X, it tells you when you scroll down there, but this one it doesn't. And if you want to get wireless, <laughs> and if you want to get wireless headphones like mine here, you can't connect them. I've tried like for hours and hours, but it hasn't worked. So, wait. And if you scroll upwards, you can see there. You like night shift. If you go on camera, if you go on camera, look. Sometimes it does not very really look like clear, and you can see it does not look like me, does it? My head shrunk in my neck. Such. So if you look. Like this, here, I like this. A bit shrunken. And I don't know what that black use is for there. And the next disadvantage is you can't change the wallpaper. At least I don't know how to. You know, like, on like a Samsung, you can just tap the screen for like a few seconds and it goes on. Oh, I just did that today or something. I don't know where it when it was done. And you have to type in your password, which is seriously annoying if you like on a call or something and you want to get on because you're someone's calling you quickly and then it ends because you can, you know, you have to type in your password. So it can be a four or five digit number. Well, in rare cases, it's a five on here. And like, if you go on an app, there, like this on Piano Tiles 2, it goes like black for like five or two seconds. If you go and roll the ball, like another app, it takes like a while to get loaded. And, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, I don't know if you can see, but. The screen gets very dirty easy like you can see like the little dots on the screen they're like go like there 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 it starts to look really dirty seriously it gets really dirty easy and like other devices yet yeah, like phones any type of phone tablet laptop has a, anywhere between five and 20 times more storage than an iPod Touch. And my screen on my thing that I'm recording with now, phone, uh, it's like about double the size. And if you look on, uh, you know, if you go on camera, wait, you need to. If you go on camera look, it goes blurry for like a couple of seconds before it goes on. And like, here, it looks more odd than I usually am. Right now, I look like this. I'm going to put this camera in front of me. It looks more like my neck is shrunken. Right. And the flash on, if you want to get the flash on, it's actually really bright, look. Oh, look how bright that is. That could blind, like, someone in, like, a minute. That could. Look how bright that is. And if you look on that, you can see, like, if I go right in, that, like that, it's actually bigger than what it looks like. The phone's actually bigger. And like, if you go out, like, if we go on camera again, it takes like about one or two seconds to go out. And uh, if you go on weather, uh, if 
If you go in weather, if you go in weather, yeah, it only tells you like a few places. It does. And this gets really annoying when you want to, you know, get back to the home screen, you know, on weather. You, And like, it gets really, really annoying. You know, and it's just so frustrating with this thing. And then, if you go like, uh, if I go messages, for example, if you go messages, look, the buttons are like so small. If we're trying to type F, look. And if we're trying to type G, if we try to type like, if we try to tap L, look, it goes. Sometimes it goes like that. And if I try to press P, look, P's right there. Sometimes it goes up like O or something. And look, if you keep like a letter on for a long while like that, wait, look, watch, if you keep it on, it goes on to like foreign letters, in, like different countries. So that gets annoying. And when you press the back button, you sometimes like press a letter like next to it. Like, which gets seriously, seriously annoying. And uh, the emojis look. See so if I want to press that one, it goes on as the one next to it, or blow it, or beside it. That gets annoying sometimes. The buttons are actually really, really small. And uh, if you and like here, it tells you like like stuff and things like. If you go on YouTube, wait. If you go on YouTube, look. YouTube. I'm on YouTube right now, but it takes a while to load. It goes like that for like a couple of like seconds, and then it finally shows the videos and such. And then it takes a while to load, so. That gets annoying, and then, like if you, that's all, and the home button, look, it's the same as an iPhone button, and if you look at that, if I plug it in, with the charger, it makes this annoying, wait, okay, charger, it makes this annoying noise, look, hear that, that gets annoying, and that gets really, really annoying sometimes. And then, uh, feel like, uh, so, and then, so like if you're in the middle of a call down this, it go up 20% for like low battery when you're in the middle of a call, and then it'll just stop the call. That's seriously annoying. I think these cases look. They get really, really dirty in some times. And the back, if you take it out like once and don't touch it like that, it gets like stuff down it. It's it's just like so frustrating. I don't know what to do with this. So that's the iPod Touch disadvantages. And if you like charging it, yeah. Yeah, and like, you need to take it out of the cover of some sort, like that, it'll just, that gets annoying. And uh, if you want to get a wire for headphones, I've got one here, it is right next to the charger button, and like, so it's like that. So it's like that. So it goes right next, and the volume button is like right, right there. So that gets annoying. 
And when you want to like wear headphones, yeah? Like right now, I uh, can't barely hear the thing that I'm saying with these on, but it's like the wire, like no, when you take it out, you're like that, you like jolt and take the wire, this out too, when you go like that, you slip in it, gets the charger out as well. And plus, if I just get the charger out of it, If we just there, look how long it is. So it's starting from here and it ends up about there. The end is right there. So that gets that is like too long. And this is like so small. And if I get another. Charger, another USB. Oh, you're just getting another USB out. Right, this is another USB. Right, if we look at both ends, the charger for both of them is like you can see the difference in them. And I know this part of the iPod charging, and like at the top, yeah. It says it's seven oh seven oh one. I don't know if you can see that, but it says seven oh one. And then when you go on the there, it sometimes it just goes like watch this. Like press it. And, like if you like hold it, because it's scary. It's seriously, seriously annoying. Just like starting FaceTime with Isaac Easter oh, profile. See. It just gets really, really annoying. So, this is the advantage. Did you just hear that? Beep, beep, beep. So, that's the disadvantages of the iPod Touch. And I'll see you later.